Hey guys. <laughs> oh guys, what a struggle. I just I just got you know like 15 minutes into a video there explaining what I'm gonna do today and it's so windy and just blew the camera up. And just shut the camera down. Gotta do it all again. Okay guys, welcome to practicing. So what I want to talk about today guys is the two main facets or the two main points of the JH channel lock golf swing. The two really important things that make or break my golf swing. The first one guys is a tempo aspect. I'm, I'm usually pretty quick in my transition. Now that kills me because it'll kill anybody. It's very hard to time a quick transition. So what I'm trying to do is have not so much what we had a few months ago where we had the ready code. Um, where we took the club back here and we stopped and we didn't start down till we were ready. It's not quite that severe, but it's sort of in between that. We want to sort of take the club back to here and just be very leisurely with the downswing to the extent that I want you to feel that your downswing is slower than your backswing. That's a great feeling. If you can actually cultivate that, you'll be amazed. You'll still get huge speed through the ball because all you'll do is slow down the intention to hit from here to here. And guys, you really do get a bit of storage when you do that. So what I'm trying to do, guys, is I'm just trying to have a very leisurely backswing and set the club and then fire it down. That's all I'm trying to do here. Now, the other thing Well, I'll just, just go back a little bit. Sam Snead said to me that when he played his best, he, he felt like his swing was slowing down coming into the ball, the club was slowing down. Jack Nicholas said the same. When he hit his longer shots, he felt that he was swinging slower. So if we can just get the ball coming in, or get the club coming in, what we feel is actually slower than our backswing, we'll hit it fantastic. Now the other thing, guys, that is vital for me, and the only way I can keep myself close down and stay in the channel is the five o'clock nose. Now for anybody who's not familiar with five o'clock nose, we had a big clock face here facing us and that was 12 o'clock, six o'clock, nine o'clock, three o'clock, that's five o'clock. And that's where I want to point my my chin and my and keep it there when I hit the ball. That's what I want to feel. Why do I want to do that? Because it keeps my shoulders closed at impact and the lead shoulder up. And some and some force and pressure going down that trail vertical axis. By doing that, I stay here. If you get a little bit of that, you'll get off that trail axis and you'll get a little bit of rolling of the shoulders. Now we don't want to do that. So we want to base, the, so the, the video today guys is, is a backswing, uh, sort of a leisure, uh, a leisure mode, if, if we can call it that, very leisurely here. Yeah, the, don't blow that camera over again. God. It's so tough here, guys, in the JH practice. Here. The wind is just off the scale. It makes you a good ball striker because you've got to you've got to fight the wind every shot you hit. And channel lock is great for that. I mean, you can't feel it here, but but coming across here, like it's about 45 k's, and out there it's about 60. But the good thing about channel lock, it really had very little effect on the ball, even with the with the hang back and fire up. Okay, so what I'm going to do is a lot of five o'clock nose and a lot of, um, see if we can square on, and a lot of really leisurely backswing. Now, guys, first hit of the day, that's very leisurely. Now, now, oh, don't blow the camera over, please don't blow the camera. Um, and I've got the tripod down low too to just cut down the wind resistance. Okay, now that was okay and it wasn't quite the tempo that I want and of course I didn't have anywhere near the five o'clock nose that I want because I'm worried about that camera. Okay, Jase, come on. Real five o'clock nose just here. And I, I'm working on the eight finger grip guys today.
That's perfect. Oh, is that good for the second shot of the day? That's perfect. Maybe if it does blow the camera over, guys, at least I'll get in the basic message here. Because if it blows it over again, I won't be able to do any more videos because it's just too windy. But that's the message. I want to be nice and leisurely. I even feel like I'm almost stopped and then the club is just... It's just this is what I want to feel. I won't get that, but that's what I want to feel. And the five o'clock notice. Hard to do. Wind is so strong. <laughs> wow, that was good. Oh, that was so good. Now, it may not look that different, guys, but I can tell you it feels demonstrably different. Amazingly different. It feels almost like, I don't know, like I'm swinging in a big, a big, uh, that of uh, molasses. That's what it feels like. Wow. Wow. Is that good? Well, at least I've got that on camera. If it does blow the camera over, guys. It's strong. Those flags are just like that. You might hear it on the video, but they're just whoop. It was gusting a while ago and it blew that chair because it was coming this way. That chair was over there and it blew it right up there. It's, it's just dropped down about 20 k's. Okay, come on, Jason. Very leisurely, five o'clock nose. Now that's leisurely for me. Gee, they're good shots. They're very good shots. Okay. Tempo's not bad. It's not where I need it to be, but I'm working on it, but the five o'clock knows I'm getting away with that five o'clock nose is not it's hard for me I don't know maybe it's the stiffness in my neck and whatever in the shoulder muscles but I find it very difficult to keep my head back I want to actually feel like that I want to feel like Mo Norman looked Mo Norman had the best five o'clock nose of all time it's the Mo I wish I could get that The grip, I'm working on the grip guys. Wow. Guys, it, what it is, what it is is it's just amazing that the swing feels so non-powerful but the result is super powerful. But it doesn't feel like that. So obviously all acceleration is happening here, because you can't hit it that far uh, with, with, a, with a swing that hasn't got any speed in it. Look at this wind, don't blow that camera over. Don't blow it over. So I got out of my routine there because I was worried about the camera. Shot still went great, but I got out of the routine. Come on, protocol, protocol, protocol. Guys, they're all landing, even with that wind, and it's ripping across here. They're uh, they're landing in. You know, 15 foot circle. Probably maybe some of them are tighter than that. See if I can really get that tempo. Really get the five o'clock nose.
I mean, they're all the same shot. The tempo is varying. You can feel it. Come on, Jay. That's the one I want. That's about where I'll be. Now that's just probably a normal looking tempo, but for me it's very leisurely. Very leisurely. It doesn't feel like there's any heat in it at all. And there's no flash in it. That's what I want to eliminate. I want to eliminate the flash. Come on, see if you can do a better job. Five o'clock knows. Tempo is not bad. Okay, now I want the five o'clock nose. Uh, good tempo and a lot, lot of uh, layback. Come on, hit up, layback, Jade. There we go. That's perfect. That's the perfect. That's the perfect combination. That's the layback I want. That's almost the tempo I want. And I had good five o'clock nose there. That was really good. Okay, more layback. Wow. Guys, if you get on YouTube, have a look at Tom Lehman when Tom Lehman was at his peak. Tom Lehman's got so much layback in his golf swing. Unbelievable. And I always I thought he was an amazing ball striker. I loved his ball striking. Absolutely loved his ball striking. Just penetrate. Whoa. His flight was very much like Lee Trevino's. Lee Trevino, entirely different golf swing. Okay, watch this guy. Nice tempo, Jason. See, I'm getting that push back off that front foot. They're amazing shots. Amazing shots. This grip is, uh, guys, grip's tough. To make the change is tough. Because my right hand, or trail hand, becomes so active because it's, it's just more in a power position now. But I'm getting used to it. I'm getting more power out of the swing, no question. Absolutely no question. Because my, my, my trail hand is hitting so much harder. There's good lay back there. Tempo was a bit off, five o'clock nose wasn't bad, but layback was good, so I just need to get the three of those uh, all operating effectively. Come on, one more. Come on, do a good job, guys. There it is, guys. No need to do any more than that. It's just a great shot. So it's a good, good amount of layback on that, and this is the first time I'm working on the tempo. But it's so vital, and I know if I'm going to go forward now, consolidate my channel lock and bring it to, uh, well, it, it'll never be finality, but it'll be at a stage of evolution and development where I'll basically have my working model. There'll always be sort of tweaking of it, but my working model will basically revolve around that. I'll just try and hit a driver. Sorry to walk away, guys. I'll just hit a driver with that tempo. This will be interesting. And I'll hit a new Titleist out there. The ground is here is so hard, guys. That, that just where I was hitting from yesterday, showing you the uh, uh, how the tight lies don't worry, the shots, but the ground is like rock. Just like rock. But you saw the quality of, uh, of pickup of those shots there. Okay, this is driver with exactly that tempo. Five o'clock nose. You don't want to hear this, I know. Well, there are some people that don't want to hear this. That's the best driver I've hit since I've been on Channel Lock. And you know, guys, you know, one guy posted, he said, oh, you're always saying PBs, PBs, you drive me nuts. You're a loony. Guys, if you don't strive for PBs, 
you know what, you never get them. PB, personal best. You don't strive for personal, look, I can't even get the tee in the ground, it's so hard. So that really reinforces how good that uh, channel lock is off the back foot and how you can just pick it off the ground. Ground's like rock. That was a sensational drive. Good tempo there. There's another one. And look at the hangback here, guy. Okay, now that tempo wasn't as good as the first one. And of course the driver's longer, and I haven't tried it with the driver yet. Can't put the turn in there, so... It's so hard. They're doing a Shrix on fitting day over there, Cleveland, with a track man over there. Guy said, you want to come on track man? I said, what for? He said, we'll show you your numbers. I said, I know what they are. He said, how do you know that? I said, no, in here. I said, I'll hit a drive and I'll tell you within 200 RPM, 250 maximum, what my spin rate is. I can tell you. And we were going to do a test against it and the track man broke down. Just started, light started flashing. Maybe he didn't want the competition. I've done it before. Watch this. I've never used a, a launch monitor to fit a golf club. Lots of hang back here. Wow. I just hit a couple of drives. And I'm hitting up, guys. See that T stayed there? Come on, Joe. Good. Good job on the, on the tempo. Here we are. Step away. So I'm seeing balls landing out there, even with this wind, where they just don't land. They just don't land out there. It's so windy, don't blow it up. Please don't blow it up. Because it'll break the, the uh, monitor off the camera. Okay, last shot. Okay, hammer this, Jade. Really, really... There it is, guys. Tell you when it comes down. Now, now that's a bit of hang time for an old dude. Okay, guys, I'm just worried about the camera. But that's a basic gist. I want to feel like the club is actually slowing down and lots of five o'clock nose and some hang back. Glad the camera didn't blow over. <laughs>